Imagination is like a muscle. If it's not used, it atrophies. My remedy? Books. Hello everybody, I'm Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at theflowcenter.com. You can reach us on theflowcenter.com or on hypnosisoverthephone.com or at my private number 214-699-6627. I was on Twitter the other day and I saw a post by a Twitter friend who's also a hypnotist and an NLP practitioner here in Dallas that I follow. His name is Darren Hiller, who posted a quote that got me to thinking. Imagination is like a muscle. If it is not exercised, it atrophies. That's Neil Gaiman that said that. Now, I always like to look up the person who is quoted. A person that is worth quoting is something special on this planet out of the 20 billion souls that have walked it. Neil Gaiman is a, a Brit that writes short fiction and novels and comic books and radio theater. He's a screenwriter. He's the author of the Sandman book series and has won awards like the Hugo and the Nebula. What I really found cool about him was that he was inspired by C.S. Lewis. Uh, Lewis Carroll, <laughs> Tolkien, Shelley, you know, Frankenstein, and I think he should try to audition for the next Doctor Who, personally. So, my comment back to Darren was, well said, brother, too many people passively watch the imagination of others, just like they watch sports on TV. Feed your starving imagination with books. And I find this to be true with a lot of our clients. Since 80% of the information from things and happenings around you comes to you through your eyes. And when we close our eyes, we're 80% in a trance, just with our sight gone. And then you'd think that 80% of the people would primarily be visually oriented in that case. Well, while we're doing the initial interview with a client at the Flow Center, we give them what we call a, a VAC test. That's V-A-K, VAC, which stands for visual, auditory, or kinesthetic. People will process information in different ways. A visual person will say things like, oh, I see what you mean. And an auditory person will say something like, yeah, I hear you loud and clear, man. Mm. A kinesthetic person would say something like, hey, I feel you, brother. If you try to get a person who is primarily auditory or kinesthetic, oriented uh, to visualize something or relate to them conversationally in visual ideas or verbs or adverbs, they might lose interest or not even understand the concept you're trying to get across, especially under hypnosis, where the subconscious takes you quite literally. Anyway, I've noticed a rise in the number of people taking our VAC test who are not primarily visually oriented. And Darren's tweet jogged my thinking about an answer as to why less and less people are good at visualizing or picturing things in their minds. I believe it's because TV and movies have come to substitute more and more for people's visualizations, you know, people's imaginations. Just like in our modern age, we've gotten physically weaker and weaker because of machine transportation like trains, planes, automobiles, elevators, escalators, that kind of thing. Our imaginations, our ability to pretend, to picture, to visualize, has been weakened by movies and TV and YouTube and the like that do it for you. Well, my remedy? Books. Those long forgotten tomes. Books. If Oprah Winfrey is to be remembered for nothing else, the single greatest thing that she did for our country was to start her book club. You can get all sorts of books to download as free PDFs by just entering the name of the book and putting PDF after the title in a search engine. You can store hundreds of books in your phone as PDFs. 
I like to use Adobe's Acrobat Reader app. Books reawaken the visual muscles in our brains. Uh, great exercise for the mind's eye. Another remedy is radio theater. Look up old time radio or, or as its acronym is OTR online or on YouTube and listen to some of those old uh, audio dramas and uh, comedies. Just like primetime TV, there was primetime radio shows from the 30s to the 70s in the last century. Uh, it uses your ears to paint movies in your mind, audiobooks. You can listen for free on YouTube. Uh, heck, you can look up Neil Gaiman on YouTube. His Odd and the Frost Giants and the Graveyard books, just they come right up. And of course, sit back, relax, take a deep breath, and picture yourself in the house of your dreams, on the vacation of your dreams. Pretend you are there in person. Day by day, you'll get better and better at doing this. And who knows, maybe the home of your dreams will become a self-fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> this is Roger Simpson, clinical hypnotist at theflowcenter.com in Dallas. You can reach us at theflowcenter.com or hypnosisoverthephone.com or at my private number, 214-699-6627. So long for now.